beauty merry christmas happy vlogmas as you saw i just got back from the library and that is because this month i'm going to be participating in the reindeer readathon i'm super excited i've never done this readathon before um but it is being hosted by i believe like five different booktube channels one in particular being the Roomies Digest. It's run by Christine and Monique, who are actually real life roommates and best friends, and they love to just read books together and talk about them. And for me specifically, they're actually one of the main reasons that I started a booktube channel in the first place. So I'm actually about to log on and see which team I was, asso was assigned to because this is a competitive readathon. And although I would be happy with any team, it would be really cool if I was assigned to theirs. Okay, so I have my computer and I'm just logging on to my email. I have the email, it is right there at the top and I'm just gonna see which team I'm on. Thank you so much for joining us for Reindeer Readathon 2022. You've been assigned to the Nutcracker team. Oh my gosh, that is Christine and Mo's team. No way. I honestly like did not think that I was going to get that just because it's like one out of five, but ah, I'm so excited. If you've never seen their channel, they are super competitive. So like, anytime they com they compete in like, you know, competitive readathons where there's like points and teams, they seriously go all out. So it was not even so much that I wanted to be on their team as I was intimidated to not be on their team. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding, but I'm so excited, yay! This is gonna be so much fun. So for the first book that I'm going to be reading for the Reindeer Readathon, um, you actually already saw it in the little clips I took at the library, but it is A Castle in the Clouds by Kirsten Gear. And this sounds so fun, first of all, Look at the cover! The illustrations are so pretty! Um, so let me read you the description. Um, oh my gosh. Look at, I don't know if it'll really focus, but the little illustrations on the flap. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty! Okay, so it says, Welcome to A Castle in the Clouds. Enjoy your stay. Sophie Spark has her work cut out for her. As an intern at a grand European hotel, she has to deal with snooty guests and their mischievous children, handsome newcomers, and preparation for the famous New Year's Eve ball. But unexpected problems keep arising, and some of the guests are not who they pretend to be. Sophie soon finds herself in the middle of a perilous adventure and at risk of losing not only her job, but also her heart. Combining humor, thrills, and romance as only Kirsten Gear can, A Castle in the Clouds is a feel-good read with lovable characters and an enchanting setting. So this is obviously marketed as like a mystery slash romance. It's not like just a Christmas romance. Um, and if you've ever seen my channel, you would know I don't read a whole lot of mystery, but I'm telling you, ever since I watched Only Murders in the Building with um, Selena Gomez, I am just like obsessed with that show. And I am now just on this like weird mystery book kick. So for the readathon, um, I am reading this which prompt? Okay, so all of the prompts for the readathon are named after different reindeer, which I thought was so cute. Um, so there's nine different prompts, including Rudolph. Um, and for this book, I'm going to be using it for the Comet prompt, which is for 25 points, first of all. Um, and that is to have an astronomical word in the title, like sky or star or something like that. So I feel like cloud counts as one of those words. I hope it does, it's like a sky related word. Um, and there are also Christmas bonus prompts that you can basically like add on to the main nine prompts for extra points. So one of those is to listen to an audiobook, and I actually have already saved the audiobook for Castle in the Clouds on Scribd. So I did get the physical copy just so I could like follow along, um, but I'm probably mainly going to be listening to the audiobook. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so it is now the next morning, and as you saw last night, I started reading A Castle in the Clouds, and I just wanted to give you my initial thoughts on it based on what I read of the first chapter last night. So, first of all, the vibes. The vibes are so cozy and cute, and as far as the hotel goes, I'm basically imagining this as like the Christmas version of the Grand Budapest Hotel, which I think is just perfect. Like even that picture on the cover is kind of giving the like pink pastel vibes of Grand Budapest. Um, and I just, I don't know, I think that's like one of the coolest hotels I've ever seen. Um, so I'm basically just picturing that, but in like the Swiss Alps. And then also the narrator of the audiobook is amazingly talented. She does like all these cute little um, German sounding accents for a lot of the characters, which I think is just so much fun. But listen, okay, these kids, so basically our main character is the official babysitter at this hotel for like all of the guests who are staying there um, so that the adults can like relax and spend time together and she takes care of the children. Well, these children are like next level brats. Like the disrespect, I was genuinely shocked. Um, but then it gets kind of funny. In particular, this one kid is just so sassy and sarcastic with her and like he knows he can basically say whatever he wants because his parents are like the richest guests at the hotel and it's like, you know, what's gonna happen like if she were to you know do anything or punish him he could just like have his parents fire her basically um so it's really funny that he like constantly is just reminding her that she has no power or authority whatsoever but so then some of the other kids basically escape and like end up outside back behind the hotel and they all end up kind of tumbling down this hillside next to the hotel and rolling out into the road. And so she like rolls out there with them and they all are very nearly run over by a car that just barely stops right before it gets to them. And she's like trying to apologize to the driver. She's like, I'm so sorry. Like I just, I have this terrible job and these terrible kids and I work at this terrible hotel. And then it turns out that he is actually the son of one of the owners of the hotel. So it is like one of those meet cutes where like character A is complaining about somebody and then that person that they're complaining about turns out to be character B, which is the person they're talking to. Like there's something about those types of meet cutes that is just so funny um, because you know it's coming. Like, it, like there's just something that tells you like, oh no, what if, what if the person they're talking about is the person they're talking to? And then it happens and it is still like the surprise and the humor in that is just like, oh my goodness, I love it so much. So I already have very, very high hopes for this book. So that is it for this first like official vlog style video for Vlogmas. Let me know if there's any way I can be encouraging you or praying for you this week. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next Vlogmas video.